Yeah, it's a decent one. There you go. Right on. Oh yeah, nice fish. Nice fish. I don't want to swing him in, I don't think. There we go. Beautiful North Country walleye to start us out this morning. I'm with my good friend Scott Walsh. We're fishing, ripping baits for walleyes. A great way to catch lots of fish in an artificial presentation, especially when they're shallow, less than 15 or 20 feet of water. And we're early part of the season here, post spawn, middle part of June, and these fish are on the chow, and we're seeing lots of walleyes in the electronics in less than 15 feet of water. So we grab the blade baits, nice one to start us out. And in today's segment, Scott and I are gonna be sharing with you some tactics for putting more walleyes in your boat with this technique. To run like a nice fish. Big old walleye. Is it? Yeah, it is. He's bending my icon over in half. The cool thing about this is this is the first fish I've caught on a brand new Rapala lure called the Rippin' Blade. Real nice one. Yeah, beauty. I'll bring him right to you here. And this is a kind of a moderately fallen blade bait that is a real nice alternative or in addition to as part of your arsenal when you're fishing, ripping baits for walleyes, especially on flats or in shallower water, less than say 15 or 20 feet. Here's the new lure. A little perch color on that. It's got a real nice action in the water, real nice fall. I'm fishing that on light line, light spinning rod. And that's the result. This is fun. I like this new bait. Do you need a net? I don't know yet. There we go. I got one. We got a double. You're throwing the rip and wrap though, right? I am. I'm sticking with the old tried and true to see if we can get a little comparison if they have a, if they have a preference. Oh, oh that mine. There's another nice one. Are you, are you double dipping? We're gonna have a mess. <laughs> you think, you think uh, fishing whipping baits for walleyes in shallow water works? How about that, folks? That's how you catch them. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I like that, that's fun. Those are two dandies, man. We're fishing in Rainy Lake in Northern Minnesota, spectacular fishery. We're gonna be letting these guys go for now. There is a protected slot on this lake, but some days on this lake, it's hard to catch fish that you can keep to eat. There's so many big ones, but there's a lot of nice eaters in here as well. We're getting some dandies here to start us out though. That is cool, man. What a fun way to catch him, huh? Oh, unbelievable. Another good one. Oh yeah. Just, just about like that last one. He's like a low 20s, I think. He hit pretty close to the, pretty close to the boat. Dude, he wasn't done look like he hooked very good. No, I'm glad we didn't hit him. Yeah. Another, another quality fish. Come back. That one came on the old standby rip and wrap. That one happens to be a little bit newer color. This one's Voodoo Haze, but there's several colors that kind of layer on the fluorescent. They should call it noxious colors, but walleyes love those bright colors. This one happens to be a number six. For walleyes, you're generally gonna use number sixes, number sevens. That rip and wrap action, is, it's pretty unique. There's lots of lipless crankbaits, but that rip and wrap has a really, really loud rattle, and it really screams on the rip. And on the fall, it actually spirals, almost like a, like a tube would for bass. And there's something about that action that walleyes just can't resist. The Rip and Wrap and the new Rip and Blade are a great one-two punch that'll work for you anytime you're fishing walleyes in those shallow to mid-depths. You know, the other thing I'm noticing about this bait, Scott, is they absolutely crush it. I don't know what it is, but they just absolutely hammer it. These are all nice, solid, nice, solid fish. Yeah, they're beauties, huh? Oh, that's still looking at the hook popped out, too. Perfect. Yeah, awesome, thank you. Yeah, another quality specimen right there. Another chunk, man. These fish are so fat up here. They're on the early summer feedback. Beauty. All right, let her go. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> loving this bait. I'm telling you what, right out of the gate, I'm loving this bait. Yeah, spawn. Oh yeah. Oh, I got him a little bit in the chin. Huh? Yeah, that was more like a digging wrap hook set right there. <laughs> that one too is sick. They're just. Oh, it's out. Another awesome fish. Another awesome walleye. What a, what a, I mean, just, we're getting them one after another. I know, I know. We mentioned before, they're starting to kind of load up in this little inside turn and a little bit of wind. And it's almost every cast. Let this one go. This is a fun way to fish. Yeah, I can almost pretend like I'm fishing back. <laughs> getting them every cast. Which we can do on Rainy Lake. Ripping baits for walleyes is a tactic that definitely produces them, as we're showing you today. If you fish with ripping wraps, digging wraps, you already know how much fun it can be. Looks like the new ripping blade from Rapala is going to be an important part of our arsenal as well. So make sure you get yourself some. With my good friend Scott Walsh, I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.